Hello, thank you for watching this video. So on this video, I'll be doing question two of November 2021, question paper mathematics paper one. And question two have the geometric series, as you can see here. Now, given the geometric series, which is x plus 90 plus 81 going forward. And then they are asking you to answer these questions that follow based on this series that is given here. So you have 2.1, right? 2.1, calculate the value of x. So they want you to find the value of x, the first term of this geometric series, right? So how do you do this? You say, okay, I know that this is a geometric series, right? A geometric series have, have a common ratio, which means, uh, uh, your common ratio is you will find it by saying okay uh, t2 divided by t1 which is the same as t3 divided by t2 which is also the same as t4 maybe over t3 if you were given that so it's the ratio of the two consecutive terms so now I know what my term 2 is. My term 2 is 90 divided by term 1, which is x. This is equal to what? Uh, t3, my t3 is 81 divided by t2. My t2 is 90. Right? Then from here, to solve for x, shouldn't be difficult. So what do you say? You cross multiply this times that, this times that. So what you have is 90 times 90 equal to 81x, right? Divide by 81, divide by 81. So your x is equal to, say, 90 times 90 divided by 81. So 90 times 90 divided by 81. So the answer is 100, right? Which means your ratio r is equal to 90 over 100 which is equal to 9 over 10 this is your ratio r equal to 0 0.9 so this is the ratio of this equation of this series but you only asked to find the value of x x is equal to 100 right so let's go to the next question they are saying Show that the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is equal to this. So, they are saying show that 2.2, the sum of the first n terms of this series is, is equal to 1000, 1 minus 0 0.9, raised n, close. <coughs> So they are saying we must show that the sum we must show that the sum of the first n terms of the series is equal to this, right? So now, if you want to find the sum of a geometric series, you know that you find using S n is equal to a one minus r raised n all over one minus r, where your r is not equal to one of the series. And then now you substitute Sn is equal to A. What is your A? Your A is equal to 100, right? It's X. 100 to 1 minus R. What is your R? The R is 9 over 10 or 0 0.9. Raise N. All divided by, uh, divided by what? 1 minus 9 over 10 or 0 0.1. It's up to you. Simplify this, you find that you have Sn is equal to 100 times 1 minus 0 0.9 raised n over this 1 minus this, that's 1 over 10, right? So we have a situation of Sn is equal to 100 times, times 1 minus 0 0.9 raise n divided by 1 over 10. So, uh, 
we change that to a multiplication sign. So we have Sn is equal to 1000. 100 to 1 minus 0 0.9. That is n times 10. So the 10 multiplies that. So you have Sn is equal to 100 times 10. So it's 1000. 1 minus 0 0.9. That is n. And you have shown that the sum of the first n 10 n terms of this geometric series is this one. So there we go. Done with this one. Go to the next one. 2.3. 2.3. Hence or otherwise, show calculate the sum to infinity. So they want to define the sum to infinity. Alright? So we already proved that Sn is equal to 1000, right? Uh, 1 minus 0.9n which is the same as 1000 1 minus 9 over 10 that is n so this is sn so this is the sum of the first n terms of the series right so now so if you want to find the sum to infinity, what you do, you can use your simplified formula. Sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. Your a is 100. Your x, which you found, is 100. And this is 1 over 9. You can do that. I think that is the safest way of doing it. Put Substitute your, hand, substitute your 100 there, your x, which is your first term. So we found that x was equal to 100. So in the position of a, you substitute the 100 and substitute, and substitute 9 over 10, then you'll find your answer. So you say 100 over 1 minus r, which the r is 0 0.9. Partial in the calculator, you'll get the sum to infinity, right? Easy. But now, I want to explain it in the context of what you have there. So now, what you do is, when you find the sum to infinity, right? So you are taking the limit as n goes to infinity of Sn, which is the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 minus 9 over 10, that is n. Sorry, there should be a thousand. So, you are taking the limit as n becomes very big. So, if you allow n to become very big, so n goes to approaches infinity, which you n becomes very big, the lower part the denominator, because it's bigger than the numerator, it will grow faster than the numerator. So the lower part will grow at a fast, will increase. If you increase n, which is you're allowing it to go to infinity, the denominator will increase at a higher rate than the numerator. So as n becomes very big, this part will go to zero as well. That's what will happen. So if you allow n to go to become very big, approach infinity. Then your n will approach zero, will become very close to zero. So now, what we're left with, you'll be left with 1000 times 1 minus, or is it minus? Minus zero. Because this will get very close to zero, it will approach zero. Therefore, the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum of this geometric series will be called at this time that, which is 1000. So the limit, the sum to infinity, is 1000 for this case. It should be the same as that you get when you use the formula. S to infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. But I just wanted to explain what the limit is. It means that if you want the sum to infinity, you just I'll take the limit as Sn goes to infinity. And, and look, observe how it behaves. So this will go to zero because the numerator will be growing at a faster rate compared to the denominator. 
sorry, the denominator will be growing at a faster rate, will be increasing at a faster rate than the numerator. So the numerator will be outpaced. And therefore, this will become very close to zero, as you can see. And therefore, our limit will be equal to zero. I think we're done with this one. This was a very short one. So we'll go to the next question.